Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to our Anaheim Ducks BAGM in the last video. If you missed it, I really suggest you go ahead and watch that one because our team is on fire right now. 30, 13, and 6. Everybody is firing on all cylinders right now. Goals were 1, 2, and 3. Almost 30, or sorry, almost 3 30 goal scorers already. That is ridiculous. And assists, I mean Blake Clark, 52 helpers. And the next one is uh, 37 with... Phil Castle there. We're just ripping up the NHL right now. Uh, it's just pretty ridiculous. But there's a couple comments and a couple things I wanted to touch on. So the first thing is people saying that I'm ruining my prospects. And I I, I, I agree, but I disagree. Um, I disagree in the sense that Drew Ends, he's playing good. He's getting the job done. So why would I put him right here? Why would I put him on the third line? It makes no sense. You guys are telling me that I'm rushing him and I'm ruining my prospects or whatever. Um, Sprong already had the red star potential before we got him so that was not me but still 30 goals in 49 games he's he's doing what he's supposed to be doing yeah he's not getting that many assists because he's an absolute goal scoring machine but I think I'm happy with the way things are the only thing I want to touch on is Nikita Kucherov I was looking at his stats and it's you know he could be producing a lot better with what he has um, but you know I'm still hoping that he does get the jump I'm not giving up on Kucherov just yet we'll see what kind of end to the year he has if he finishes if he finishes strong with you know 50 points I'll be happy um 50 points for a second liner isn't that isn't that terrible so he still has lots of chances uh, and we'll obviously we'll see what happens in the playoffs but basically that's all I wanted to touch on here we're going to hop into the simulation get a bunch of games done here probably go to the end of the regular season to be honest with you uh, because we're about 20 23 minutes away from puck drop right now from game number four for the LA game so by the time you're watching this the Stanley Cup could already be uh, be in the LA Kings possession once again huge loss there seven to two holy crap uh if we lose here we'll go ahead and take out john gibson and put in um paperny but game four is just just around the corner i actually thought i actually had uh the rangers winning the 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 series against LA, but you know, anything can happen. Stranger things have happened. I think uh, it's all curtains, though. I think LA is going to have this in the bag. I'm going to predict it, though. Um, I should probably start Paperny now, actually. I'm going to predict LA shuts them out, say 2 0. It's going to be a really close game. That's my prediction. We will see how uh, how my prediction does fold out, though. But we're going to give Paperny the start. They're losing a couple of games here. Three of our last four games we have lost. We're going to give Paperny two starts here. Um, but yeah, I'm predicting. LA is going to win it. Um, if not tonight, I mean, I, I, I can't see them losing tonight. I think that it's going to be curtains and uh, the Rangers. Uh, props to them for making it this far, but I think it's all but over. Let's see what Paperny can do here. One nothing shutout, baby. There you go, Paperny. Good stuff uh, against the Winnipeg Jets here. We eight to five. Holy crap! We have no problem scoring. Um, we absolutely just kill it. Uh, that is just crazy. 8-5, to five. we are like the 80s Edmonton Oilers, you know, we allow a lot of goals, but it doesn't matter if we allow 5 goals, because we can put 8 in, so <laughs> it reminds me a lot of the like 80s Edmonton Oilers, uh, Paperny, I'm going to give him one more start here, because he did have a couple of big wins, uh, can Clark hit 60 assists here, can he do it, 60 helpers against the Nashville Predators, we lose 2-1, and he doesn't, we're losing some games, what is going on, uh, kind of a slow, uh, slow start to this month here, February has not been the kindest to us, hopefully we can turn that around before we, you know, lose 10 games in a row, and then we're on the verge of, uh, not getting a playoff spot, Paprini's at 86 now, you see that he jumped up from an 85 to an 86, just like that, just like that, he he is uh, eight and four, so I mean we could have a goalie controversy going on right now. John Gibson, uh, he's twenty five and fourteen, uh, and Paperny is eight and four. So I mean both goalies are playing great. A uh, couple couple blunders here and here and there, but you're never going to go eighty two and zero. But huge game here against the uh, Edmonton Oilers. They are what they are. Uh, one point ahead of us. This is a huge game. Time for a slow sim. Let's go. First period. 0-0. Okay, 12-12. Super even. Second period. 
Oh my god, 23-22. So even. So, so, so even. This could be a Western Conference final. Uh, oh no, Nugent Hopkins. This could be a Western Conference final preview. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh no, so they're going to win it here. Oh, Yak and Nuge. Yak City and the Nugent Hopkins. They score 2 to nothing. We do lose. John Gibson takes the loss. Uh, 2 nothing though. Didn't really supply too much offense. Not going to worry about it too much. Uh, I am going to go ahead and put Kucherov on the trading block, though. I'm going to entertain offers. I'm not going to try for anybody. I just kind of want to see what the return I can get for him. Um, I was looking around the league, though, and there's really no good winger playmakers that are in Kucherov's value. Another huge game here against Dallas. They have a really good record. Come on. There we go. 4-2 to two win. Uh, we want to get these victories against the against the teams that have the really good records so we can pumble the teams that have crappy records. But pretty good record here in uh, Columbus. Or sorry, not Columbus. Uh, Phoenix, and we win 7-5. to five. See, that's what I'm talking about. Um, Stamkos, I mean, obviously scored a couple of goals there. But we can let five goals in. That's not a problem. Uh, but we can put up numbers for sure. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put him on the uh, the trading block just for right now. And you guys were, were predicting that uh, we're going to have 200-point guys in Stamkos and Clark and then a 50-goal guy in uh, Sprong. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think if anyone's going to hit 50 goals, it's going to be Stamkos. Coast. He's kind of been slowing down, though. I don't think we're going to have a 50-goal guy this year. Maybe, though. I think 100 points uh, for either of those two isn't quite out of reach yet. 7-4 to four win. 7 goals. Stamkos didn't even score one. That's totally fine, though. Uh, Mark Latestu. Do we need him? 34 years old. 77 overall. I'm going to pass on you. Thank you, though. And we're going to go ahead and put Kucherov on the trading block just for right now. Again, I'm going to entertain offers, and hopefully something can come our way here. Um, maybe not to make a move, but uh, where is he? Kucherov. Did I miss him? Maybe not to make a move, but just to you know, kind of see what we could get uh, with the trade value that he's at right now. Where the fuck is this guy? Am I just a dumbass? I look for 86, 86, 86. Gibson, Honka, Kucherov. There we go. I'm an idiot. Uh, 86 overall, one year left at 3.4, so he's going to want a lot of cash now. Next year, we got to keep that in mind as well. So, uh, one more game here against Detroit, and then we're going to go ahead and hop into the trade deadline. We're not out of the water yet. So, we lost a game there. We're not completely out of the water just yet. We need to go ahead and we need to win games, games, games. So, Sergey Emelin and a first round pick for Michael McCarron and Eddie Pasquet. Uh, Montreal acquired Alexander Semin from Carolina. Oh, that was from this move. And then it was Setaguchi went to Dallas from, from Toronto. So, Montreal got the Super 7 there and the Rage and Russian. I'm quickly going to go ahead after this hour quickly going to go ahead and see what is out there just for trading partners. Maybe there's some good prospects we can pick up. So quickly I'm going to go ahead and check that. Alright guys, so honestly, there's nothing out there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I firmly believe that, and uh, we're doing good right now. This month hasn't really been too kind to us, but I think we're going to be just fine. If we don't need to make a move, we're not going to make it. Uh, Vancouver acquired Jonas Rask, the only silver NHL player in Hut. Uh, Jared Stoll, no, I do not want you. So we're quickly going to finish off the year here. 36-21-6. and six. It's still a respectable record. Um, man, I, th I feel like Sprong's really not been... Uh, I'm obviously he's been he's been um, scoring goals. Actually, he's got. 36 goals. We're still 1, 2, and 3. Clark's number 1 in assists. Points were 1 and 2 still with Clark and uh, Stamkos. I think we're going to be just fine though. We'll slow send this one just for the lols and then we'll go ahead and get more simulation done. First period 0, 0. Second period 0, 0. Third period 1, 1 Boychuk and Kucherov and in the overtime frame what's going to happen? Shootout and they win in the shootout. Elias Lindholm and Drayson Bowman. Um, we did get a point though. We did get a point. I can quickly actually want to check out where we are in the standings. I didn't even look um, after this game. Where are we? Because, you know, it's a good record, but we could lose five or six in a row, knock on wood. Hopefully we don't, but um, yeah, we're number two. We're number two in our division. We're going to be alright. We're going to be alright. Got to win these games, though. Got to win the games against Calgary. Win the games against LA, Phoenix. Um, so quickly, let's go. I, I always say quickly. I'm like, quickly we're going to do this. Quickly we're going to do that. Quickly we're going to do this. Uh, look at Vince Ryder, though. 130 one penalty minutes. Oh my god. 
I want Stamkos to have 40 goals by the end of this week. Can he do it? I think we got four games here, five games, four or five games, four games. Can he do it? 40 goals, baby Stammer. Let's go. Get some victories, get some goals. Hey! <laughs> you got a hat trick. You got a hat trick, and he gets 40. Uh, can I do I? Can I see a 45? Can I see a 45? That's crazy. Uh, I didn't even, that was, couldn't have worked out any better, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was kind of weird. Uh, up against the Leafs here, our 5-4 to four win. Let's go. We're winning some games, three of our last four. I like it, boys. I like it. So Gibson's got 30 victories there. I almost said victories. Almost, I tried to do wins and victories together. Uh, he's got 30... Oh, I was going to say 30. 31, but we lose 7-4 to four there. Uh, they got a pretty good record there in Dallas. Can we get a victory? 5-1. to one. Stammer's got 41 goals. Honestly, I don't think there's going to be a 50-goal score. Maybe. How many games do we have left here? 4-2 uh, win there. Stammer's not getting that many goals. I feel like our first line's being shut down quite a bit. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It could be done. He's 9 goals in 11 games. Come on, Stammer. 9 goals in 11 games. That's all you need. I know it sounds like a lot, but you're Steven friggin' Stamkos. Let's go. I want to see a hat trick there. 41. Oh, he didn't get a goal. Oh, Sprong's got 41 now. We could have two potential 50 goal scorers here. Sprong's got 41, a career high. Clark, 71 assists. Holy shit. That is just ridiculous. Big game here against LA, and we lose 3-3-2. Three to three to two. I think that was an overtime, though, so we still did get a point. Uh, we're definitely in the playoffs. That's for sure. That's no question. But, um... And the puck drops in five minutes. I gotta hurry the hurry this up. Hurry my shit up. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have a 50 goal guy. 42 goals. Okay, 42. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, we're 43, 24, and 7. Not bad. Like I just said, we're doing pretty good. Stamkos plus 25 already. Or er, I mean, it's just a crazy plus minus. Killing it, buddy. Uh, against the Columbus Blue Jackets, 5-2 loss. Not what I like to see. Yeah, I think the 50 goal thing is kind of out of the window. Uh, I kind of just forget about the 50 goal thing. We're looking good earlier, but we kind of slowed it down a little bit. Sprong's got 46. Oh, shit. He, he's, he only needs four more goals, and we got five games to do it. I don't know. I, I've rare, I think I've only had one 50-goal guy. I think that was in Japan, I believe, in NHL 13 when I did Japan. Don't get me wrong, but I think I could be wrong. Oh, 47 goals for Sprong. Um, I think Druin had a 50-goal year. Jonathan Druin had a 50-goal year. I'm pretty sure he did in Japan. I could be I could be totally, totally wrong, though. Uh can he hit 50? The big 5-0, baby. 47. I want to see 48. There it is. 48. All right. Two more goals for 50. I don't even care where we're scouting right now. Uh, three games, two goals. Can he do it? Sprong, baby. Let's go. I don't even know what your first name is. Dylan or Daniel. I don't know what your first name is. Uh, can he do it? Oh, 50. There it is. The 50th goal. We do lose, and Sprong gets the two goals. 50 goals for Sprong. You guys were right. You guys said he's going to score 50 goals uh 52 goals can i see 54 55 can you end it off with a hat trick go out with a bang buddy go out with the bang 52 let's see these goal totals go up uh we're not gonna hit 50 wins unfortunately we're gonna get 49 at the max uh we do win but did not get another goal clark had 79 helpers oh my God, that is ridiculous. That is crazy. Uh, let's quickly check here. I said quickly once again. 106 points for Anaheim. That's great. So we finished top of the league. We are one. Ooh, Stamkos really slowed down there. He only finished a year with 44 goals. I say only 44 goals, but still, uh, he was looking. He had like 37 goals for the longest time. Kind of slowed down there. Uh, Stammer did hit 103 points, so did get 100 points. So you guys are right. We had a 50 goal year and a and a um, and a hundred and three point year that is ridiculous so who is who are we going to face Ooh, okay there it is it has been a great year for the anaheim ducks with 49 wins this season i have been very impressed by what you have achieved and i am hoping for more of the same moving forward keep it up you got it buddy our hl team finished 51 29 and 5 very nice we're we're up against the winnipeg jets in round number one i'm not sure if we ever played these guys but uh winnipeg let's go um 
Um, so we finished number one in the NHL. Looks like there was a two-way tie with us and the Bruins. Uh, goals four, we were number one. We scored a ridiculous amount of amount of goals. We're the only team with an above three goals per game. Not only three, but 3.35. Goals against, uh, 14th, not terrible. Uh, goals against per game, we're 14th. Uh, power play percentage, we're number one. Power play was killing it all year. Penalty kill, we're number 13. Uh, home and away weren't really too, um, that didn't really look like they're too different there, but uh, where's where's Winnipeg right there? So we're 7-2-1 in our last 10, and they are 6-4. and four. Um, Let's quickly... I said it again, I said quickly, that's probably really, really, really annoying, but uh, Stamkos, 103 points, has he ever reached 100 points before? I'm not sure, but 103 points for Steven Stamkos, Clark had 91, oh my god, that is ridiculous, Sprong had 73, 52 goals though, as a 22 year old, the guy is just money, Druan had 66 uh, in 82 games, 20 goals, great, uh, the Prodigy Baby had 43 goals in his rookie year. Definitely took home the Calder for sure. Vatanen, 52 points. That was a great rebound year for him. After having two mediocre years, has a great year. His highest point total uh, uh, ever and then he won the Norris when he had four, uh, 45 points. So it could be a Norris Trophy winning year for sure. Honka had 51 points. He's turned out to be something special as well. Nylander had 51, a career high playing on the third line. Career high in goals. Career high in assists. Great Kucherov, I asked him for 50 points and he gets me 49. Of course, of course. Uh, that's all right, though. 30 goals, not really going to complain. Fowler had 33 points. Uh, Ernie had a better year than he had last year, 26 points. Uh, Murray only had 24. Murray's kind of a disappointment. I uh, I thought he was going to be a lot better than he was. He's still decent, though. Is he a plus player? He's a plus 14, so he can't really complain. Eakin, 24 points. Spalling, 15. Freddie Hamilton had 15. Levi had 14. Lindholm only had 11. Uh, Oh, was he a plus? Who's a minus 12? Ooh. And Vince Ryder, baby. Six goals, five assists, 11 points. Uh, Maurice Richard, trophy winner all day. 99 slap shot power. He is 82 now. 166 penalty minutes. Oh, my God. Uh, the goaltenders here, the goalies. Um, Paprin is at 87. He just continues to progress. Is he the starting goalie now? Is he taking over the starting goalie reigns? 87 and 86. Who do we start in the playoffs, boys? I I don't know. I think we should give it to Gibson, but if Gibson starts to starts to play bad, we can easily throw Papini in there. 87 overall. What a stud. What a stud of a player. Um, and quickly, let's check out... I said quickly again. I'm a dumbass. God, I gotta stop doing that. Rookie Skaters was obviously Ryder and the Prodigy. So let's go ahead and check out the whole NHL. Yeah, there is no competition. We have the Calder Trophy wrapped up. Unless there's some stud rookie goalie. No, there's not. Um, uh, all skaters, we're obviously number one and two in points. Ovi had 89. New Ted 88. Kessel, uh, Skinner. Who's Christo? Danny Christo. Uh, 08. What the hell is this guy? Uh, he scored 40, 44 goals. He got some really good stats, too. Look at his shooting category and his puck skills. Wow, where the hell's he in real life? That's how it's looking. Stammer, the only 100-point man in the whole NHL. And Ryder was third in penalty minutes. What a beauty. I will see you guys in round number one. If there's anything you want me to, to touch on or to change let me know because i will not start the uh i will not start round number one until i read your guys's comments and i saw that there we have paperny actually starting so i'm gonna go ahead and give gibson the starting there he is he's starting but thank you guys so much for watching actually one more thing before i do go i want to check out how keith van allen did in the ahl his uh it was our first round pick fourth overall i believe from last year so quickly check out how he's doing uh, I put him on lots of lines in the AHL. I overplayed him as you guys were putting it. Uh, how did he do, though? How did he do, Van Allen? He had 47 points. He's still at 65 overall. Still can't really complain. Doing great. Uh, Vakari, 32 points. Yanmark, 81. This guy just produces, man. 95 points, 71. It's kind of a... It's kind of a shame he's not going to crack the NHL team, but Kuklachev, as Johnny says, Kuklachev, and uh, that's how the AHL team is looking. So thank you for watching once again. I'll see you guys in round number one. If there's anything you want me to tweak or anything you want me to go ahead and change, let me know, and I will do that for round number one. I'll see you guys then.